There's something about making a portrait which I find incredibly intense and energetic. When I make portraits with people, I try and do it as soon as possible after meeting them so that there's still a bit of tension in the pictures. And there's a very limited amount of time that you have to do that in, especially if it's people that you don't know and they're giving you their time to make a picture. The title of this series is La Cucaracha, and it comes from a Mexican folk song about a cockroach that's missing its legs and cannot walk. During the Mexican Revolution, the song was used satirically to mock political figures. The image of a creature that's been hobbled by life but remains triumphal all the same speaks to me about the complicated dynamics at play in Mexico. I think if one has to be reductive about my work, it deals with people on the periphery of society, with the outsider, with the marginal. And during the Trump era, which we live in now, Mexico has definitely been othered. La Cucaracha was made on invitation from a Mexican curator called Francisco Berzunza, who was putting together a South African art exhibition in Oaxaca City. And he wanted me to specifically come and make work in response to this exhibition, which was called Hacer Noche, which means crossing night, which dealt with the liminal space between life after death and broader themes relating to sex and death. And it was to be shown at the Manuel Alvarez Bravo Museum. I went and spent about a month there making work and showed the work at the museum. While working there making this work, I felt like exploring this further. And so I made repeated trips to Mexico to complete the series. Finding a voice that was authentic to the work made in Mexico was incredibly challenging. It's such a visual culture. A lot of the imagery in La Cucaracha was inspired by Mexican muralism. It's something about the mural which depicts a narrative from beginning to end of a historical event, which is very similar to the idea of the photo book, where you are trying to create a series of images that complement each other and speak to each other and feed off each other. When I make images, generally the gaze that I have is requited by the subject. We look, but equally important, we are being looked at. I'm looking for portraits that hold you, that don't give you space to escape, to not let your eye wander out of the frame. A recurring theme is the nude, and I think it's maybe because approaching mid-40s for the first time I feel comfortable in my own body and at peace with my own body that I feel for the first time comfortable asking other people to be photographed. I'm interested in the nude as somehow being a space where our lives intersect with our environment and how the environment has imposed itself on our body. I made a series of portraits in Huchitan of three Mushe ladies. The Mushes is a kind of a third gender. Young boys which display traditionally associated with feminine behavior get assigned a female role and they get dressed in female clothes. There's absolutely no stigma attached to this, and it's separate of the gay community. I'd seen photographs of mushes before, but always young in kind of very flamboyant, performative poses. And I was interested in photographing older mushes that I saw at the marketplace. The models in After Sequeros are all garbage collectors, and during the day they have a theatre group. The image was inspired by a mural by Alfredo Sequeros, which depicts the history of the Mexican Revolution. The image of Black Friday was made in a prison in Oaxaca over Easter weekend when the inmates perform a passion play. Yeah, there's something in Mexico about the normalization of violence that has come about because of the narco state and because of the country that has gone through continual revolution. The theme of post-revolutionary societies is a motif that occurs throughout many, many series that I've worked on. The transition in South Africa from apartheid to a democracy is an event that I keep coming back to, whether I'm working in Mexico or anywhere else in the world. It's like a moth that's circling a flame. <laughs> I just am drawn back to this over and over, to the idea of revolution and 
major shifts and how this impacts us and how it leaves marks on us whether it's physical or emotional or whether it's on our geography or the way we shape our environment. To me, photography and art is about engaging with the world and a good artist changes the way you look at the world.